Despite what you or Peter McKinnon has to say, tea is better than coffee. What up, though, guys? I'm Fashan Vega, and welcome to Hate by Design. And this is Tip Minute Tuesday. And contrary to popular belief, or whatever Peter McKinnon might tell you, tea is actually better than coffee. But before we get into that, I want to talk about reading and how drinking tea and reading in the morning will add that one more element to helping you achieve all of your goals that you set out for the day, week, month, quarter, or even your year. So let's dive. There's many different reasons on why reading, especially in the morning, can enhance your quality of life and put you and keep you on the road to success, whatever that may mean for you. One is mental stimulus. It is said in Sholin studies that keeping the brain stimulated, continuous learning can often prevent or lessen the chances of mental illnesses like Alzheimer's. Secondly, it can lead to stress reduction. Once again, one of the tips for win in 10 is helping reduce stress. And that's one of the first things we wanna do in the morning is reduce, or if we can, eliminate stress or the chances to become stressed out. One of the third reasons to read in the morning is knowledge. We all know, and Jim Quick says it a lot, knowledge is power. But it's not power, it's potential power. If knowledge is power and potential power, then reading is hands down your superpower. Four, Vocabulary expansion. As vocabulary, reading enhances your chances of learning more words to put into your mental Rolodex, to be able to use, to help tell your story, to help express yourself, and more importantly, to understand other people. Piggybacking on four is five, and that's memory improvement. Memory retention is extremely important, especially in accelerated learning, and Reading every day for 15 to 45 minutes a day will enhance your brain's ability to recall information and being alive and surviving, being able to have a strong, sharp memory that you can depend on and call on is paramount. Now let's talk about this tea. Tea is better than coffee. Here's a few reasons why. One, tea is fantastic at providing hydration to the body and replenishing your fluid. Though coffee does that too, coffee isn't mostly water. Matter of fact, tea is 100% water besides just the tea. And the tea is extremely beneficial for you. Especially on those hot summer days, last thing you want is coffee. You want tea, you want water. And tea is great for that aspect, hot or cold. And you can take this with a grain of salt, do your own research. Two, tea has been shown in studies and research to help increase the chances of reduction of certain illnesses like cancers and certain tumors, tea. Three, tea will keep you going longer. It's said that coffee has more caffeine, but that's not true. At the same amounts provided in a serving, tea has the same amount of caffeine and you don't have any fall off. With coffee, it has a greater depression value, not necessarily making you sad, but leaving you with less energy. Tea, not so much. Really simple one, tea is just easier to make. Though tea and coffee have their own special process of production, and tea itself has, in Asian cultures, a whole world around how you actually prepare, serve, receive, and drink the tea. Even in that, tea is just easier to make. Five. There's a ton of antioxidants in tea, much more than your likely cup of joe. Antioxidants are great for keeping your body ticking, healthy, and performing across longer times in a day. Hence, why more companies have begun to add antioxidants into their products. It's also been found that tea can help you shed some unwanted weight. From what I understand, coffee usually can help you put on unwanted weight. So. Seven, tea's better for your teeth. We all know the drawback and the problematic issues it brings to coffee drinkers. Tea drinkers, not so much. Eight, believe it or not, studies have shown that 
tea increases your chances of producing stronger bones. And that people that drunk tea every day actually not only has stronger bones, but tea helped prevent against developing osteoporosis. It's well known that tea is used cross-culturally around the world to help reduce stress, encourage and produce peace, and limit anxiety in all countries. And has been doing so for almost as long as humans have been producing drinks. Historically, tea is better. In tin, tea helps strengthen the immune system. Coffee, not so much. Tea, but hey, if you're a coffee drinker, I understand. But just consider tea. Tea is better than coffee. It's just, it is. Chapter books don't have pictures in it mostly is because they want want the person reading it to have imagination because imagination you you need to learn life like we would never have chairs because chairs didn't exist like cars movies even words that was from imagination everything here that wasn't already on the planet was from people. Hey, look. Abby said it. Abby said tea is better than coffee. So there's, there's, it's a 100% fact right and there. Here's the surprising thing. I don't drink coffee, which is good. So if you're a child, do not drink coffee, even in the future, like when you're growing even up. Even in the don't. future, dude. <laughs> Quick recap. In conclusion, Actually, tea, based on health facts, is just better than coffee. But my opinion, nobody else's opinion, can change the fact that there's a large amount of people who are absolutely in love with coffee. And I wouldn't dare try to take that away from you. If you love coffee more than tea, more we'll power to you. But I do hope that this video helped you in some form or fashion. Reconsider switching over to tea or at the very least, introducing it into your regimen. I think the biggest takeaway for me was reading helps keep cultivate and enhance imagination. That's amazing that she understands that and I think you know that too. Please ring the notification bell and subscribe to stay up to date with upcoming YouTube giveaways, content, and just all our cool engagement. Remember, lead strong, be now, think great, and as always, define, design, repeat.
Don't forget to follow everybody at Decoy. That's Detroit Conglomerate of YouTubers.